Okay, it's like this. Children entering kindergarten in the fall of 2013 will be retiring somewhere between 2078 and 2085. As Ken Robinson said a number of years ago, this is the future we're meant to be preparing our children for. In our current state of education, children are being educated in what we might call the binge and purge method, or what Stuart Firestein describes as the bulimic method of education, where you stuff their little heads full of information and have them vomit it forth later onto a test, never really remembering anything like context or anything interesting. What we end up doing is beating the natural creativity out of our children. We beat out of them the very skills they need to survive in a future we can't imagine. Now before you all go sending me wild emails or posting rude things on Facebook, I totally understand that our children need to learn math and language and science, critical thinking. I get this. It's important, but not at the expense of the natural pieces of their humanity. Math, science, language, critical thinking, these are building blocks. These should be the catalysts for curiosity. They should be the inspiration for creativity, new thoughts, new ideas. In the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident was not meant as a statement or declaration of universal truth. It was meant as a revolution of biblical proportion. It represents the cataclysmic, the monumental shift from there is one received possible truth to life is a journey of discovery. We can be better. We hold these truths to be self-evident because we discovered them ourselves. Our natural creativity led us to discover new fundamental truths and change the world. No discovery occurred. No scientific revolution began. No important technological breakthrough was ever made by someone sitting behind the desk going, I hope I get the right answer, because if I don't, it's going to screw up my GPA. Performing arts or arts education has never been about manufacturing more artists. If that were the case, the project would have failed a thousand years ago. Performing arts education is about inspiration. It's about asking questions. It's about being inspired to ask new questions and get new answers that inspire better questions. The performing arts are also communal, like in real life, like in a real job. We work together in groups, in teams, to discover new things, to make new discoveries, to create new breakthroughs. It's about inspiring tomorrow's engineers, tomorrow's doctors, tomorrow's entrepreneurs, teachers, parents. It's about imagining a better future. And that's what we do with the Audacity Performing Arts Project. We provide opportunities to children who don't have them to participate in this creative art form. Not because we want to make new artists, but because we want to inspire children to be something new, to imagine a better future, to imagine something new for themselves that will help them survive. For lack of a better word, our primary target market are schools and communities that simply can't afford us, where the opportunities for performing arts or arts education are simply gone. We're working really hard to raise money to service these communities, and we need your help. If you click on the link below, there's a great way to donate, uh, anywhere from $1,000 to $10. And remember, it's not about manufacturing new artists. We're looking to inspire young people to create the future we want to live in.